Good evening. How are you doing? Welcome to your English class. Are you ready for action? Yes, yeah, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Let's begin then. Good evening. This is the national program English for Work. This is level four. Welcome to your English class. Today is Monday, September the 18th, and this is class one. The topic for tonight is count and non-count nouns. This is the general objective. Participants will develop competencies that will allow them to describe characteristics of products, processes, of buying or selling online, no customers' opinions of products they sell, and have conversations about financial activities. The specific objective, participants will be able to describe characteristics of the products that their company purchases. Class objective, participants will be able to ask and answer questions about foods and materials using count and non-count nouns correctly by working in groups. The agenda for tonight is favorite foods, nouns, count nouns, non-count nouns, practice questions, and questions with nouns. Okay, so these are the topics to study tonight. Now let's go to the attendance. Let's go to the attendance now. Let's check who is here and who isn't here. Adán Antonio Ramírez. Blanca del Carmen Santos. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Good evening, present. Excellent. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Edgar Edenilson Reyes. Edwin Alexis Perez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Excellent. Esmeralda Rosario Portillo. Gabriela Yamilez Ramírez, Gisela Guadalupe Martínez, Gladys Rubidia Nieto, Jonathan Stanles Pérez. Presente, present teacher, present. Excellent. Eh, su nombre está correctamente escrito, Stanles. Sí, teacher, doble sí. S al final. Es okay. el inicio y doble S al final. Okay, excellent. Okay, Jose, okay. Yes, Jose Daniel Cermeños. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Andy Natalia Sánchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Germán González. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Miguel Ángel Cortés. Noé Aníbal González, Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Okay. Excellent. Nice. Very good. So. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, we start with favorite food, okay? The purpose is to talk about what food you like eating. 
Okay, so purpose to discuss favorite foods. Discuss these questions with your partners. These are the questions. What's your favorite type of food? What's your favorite kind of food? What's your favorite food? First, what's your favorite kind? Chinese, Mexican, Italian, etc. What's your favorite food? Spaghetti, fish, tacos, nachos, etc. Can you prepare it? Do you know how to make it? Do you know how to cook it? Can you prepare it? Where do you eat it? Do you eat it at home? Do you eat it in a restaurant? Do you have a favorite place to eat it? How often do you eat it? What's the frequency with which you eat it? Every Sunday, every Monday, every day, every weekend? Okay. When was the last time you ate it? Last week? Today? When was the last time you ate it? So these are the questions that you are going to be discussing in the group. We're going to go to the groups for five minutes, okay? So let's go to the, if there are, if we have groups, okay, we're going to go there. Let me see if they have been, we have the chance. Yeah, there are, okay, so how many people are we? 12, three groups, not two groups only. Just in case, two groups, please discuss the questions in the groups. The PDF is in the WhatsApp chat. I sent it early in the afternoon. So you can open it and you can send it there. You can open it from there. The groups are opening, please join. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Please join your group. We have Adán Antonio Ramírez, Cecilia Maribel Alemán, Edgar Reyes. Please join the respective groups. Um, well. Okay, so please join. Join the groups. Okay. Thank you. Cecilia, Edgar, Mario, please enter the group so that you may practice with your partners. Remember, practice makes perfect. When you practice, you learn. If you don't practice, you know. San Jose. No, no. Okay. In my case, uh, Jonathan is Salvadorian food. Salvadorian food. Okay. Yes. Is what is your favorite food? You may share your screen. You Three. may share, share the questions. Three yes. answer. Uh -huh. oh, you, Chinese you food. Okay, you have Salvador the document. Food. Mexican food? Uh, hello, everybody. Hello, you teacher. The, you, have hello, the teacher. You have the document. 
in the WhatsApp group. So you may open it and you may share it here. I can Happen. share, teacher. Excellent. Share. Uh, Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Thanks. It's much in better. My, much better if you share. Mm -hmm. Thanks. In in my case, Jonathan. Hello. Okay. Yes, will tell me. Yes, in my case, my favorite food is uh, bean soup and pupusas. Okay. Can you prepare uh, your Mexican food or Chinese food? <laughs> uh, Mexican food? I prepare uh, meat tacos or chicken tacos. Okay. Okay. In my case, I can't. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I can okay. prepare it. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Where do you eat it? Chinese and Mexican food. Um. Um, food is Mexican food, but my favorite in general. food in general. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, yeah. my dear students. You may yeah. share your screen. The document is in the WhatsApp group. Okay. You may open the document and share it. You have all the permissions to share. Already, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you prepare? Can you prepare it, uh, Aníbal? Uh, prepare it? Uh, no, no. <laughs> Cooking. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And is, you tell, sorry to interrupt you again. Who is sharing? Uh, Nadie. <laughs> ah, okay. That that's what I see. And the document is in the WhatsApp group. So please use the document. Okay. Open it and share it. Okay, ahorita voy. Quiero trasladar, pero no se puede. Do you see my, my window? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes very good. Excellent. Okay. Okay, and... And Blanca, uh, can you prepare it? I can prepare it. The my favorite food. <laughs> okay. And, and Carlos. Uh, in my case, is difficult for me prepare it. Okay. Okay. Um, no sé qué más falta, es que no puedo ver. Yeah. And you? Um, um, yes, I can prepare tacos. <laughs> okay, um, where, do, where do you eat? Blanca, where do you eat? Uh, in the eat? restaurant. Which restaurant? Um, Koi. <laughs> ah, okay. It's delicious. <laughs> and Carlos? 
Where do uh, you eat meat? I I eat it uh, in Metro Centro, <laughs> in a restaurant in Metro Centro. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, I don't remember the name, the next partner. Aníbal. Oh. <laughs> ah, Aníbal. En <laughs> restaurant, en restaurant, en occasional eh, eh, house. Okay. Okay. In my case, eh, I love, but I love the restaurant eh, Taco Germán. Where is that? Where is that? Taco Hermanos. Eh, la Gran Vía. La Gran Vía. Ah, Andorando yeah. Ando Vía. I don't know La Gran Vía. <laughs> <laughs> It's very delicious. It no, not is expensive. Okay, excellent. Uh -huh. It isn't expensive. No. No, it isn't expensive. Okay. No. Excellent. No, it is. Nice, nice. Okay, and um, how often do you eat? Once a month. Okay, and Carlos? Uh, normally I eat uh, every week weekend. Okay. Wow, excellent. Every weekend. <laughs> and Aníbal? Mm. No sé cómo se dice de vez en cuando. <laughs> Occasionally. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. In my case, eh... se me acaba de olvidar cómo se dice esto dos, dos veces al mes. Twice a month. Twice. Twice. Twice, no. Twice, Twice a month. month. Okay, twice a month. And when was the last time you ate? Um, yesterday. Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 And Carlos? Uh, the last Saturday, I, I eat it. Last okay. Excellent. We finished, right? So let's go back to the main group. Thank you. Okay, you're thank welcome. you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, before we go to, to the next part, we have the introduction, okay? I was waiting for more people to be present, but now that you're here, let's begin. We have, this is the English for Work program, basic module four. My name's Jose Angel Rodriguez, okay? Jose Angel Rodriguez is my name. So uh, these are the, The, the rules, we can say the rules that we have. It says, I'm going to read it in Spanish and so that this is clear. Requerimientos. Al conectarse, se requiere que se utilice el nombre completo. ¿verdad? Al conectarse a la plataforma de Zoom. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Este oyente no es el que decide hoy voy a ser oyente, mañana no soy oyente. Ese no es. Oyente es el que ha sido estipulado por inglés corporativo como oyente. En cuyo caso los, tengo dos oyentes. Solo son Noé Aníbal González y Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Solamente ellos son oyentes. Ningún otro tiene derecho a ponerse oyente frente a su nombre. Solamente ellos dos. 
si no va a participar en clase, ok, está bien, pero no se ponga oyente porque no es oyente. Sí, Sergio. Teacher, eh, I have a question. Eh, yo, no, yo no pedí ser oyente. Eh, sí, le voy a explicar cómo funciona el asunto. Okay. Eh, fíjese que no se trata de pedir ser oyente o no ser oyente. Lo que sucede aquí es que cuando en recursos humanos envían la información un poco tarde, entonces se van llenando los cupos. Y el cupo es 20 alumnos. Entonces, para darle la oportunidad que tome el curso, se abren otra, otros cinco espacios, por lo menos. Y el grupo ya estaba completo con 20. Entonces, su información llegó tarde. Entonces, llegó a ser, no sé, 21 o 22. Entonces, ahorita son 22 en total. ¿Verdad? Por, esa es la razón por la que usted aparece como oyente. Pero no se preocupe porque usted tiene todos los privilegios de cualquier otra persona. Puede preguntar, puede comentar, puede hacer todo. Si algo no, no lo entiende, usted me pregunta y para mí es un placer ayudarle, explicarle algo que usted no entienda. ¿Ok? No, no se preocupe. Sí es cierto que usted aparece aquí como oyente, pero como le comentaba, es cuestión de la recepción de sus documentos, ¿verdad? Eso es, eso es lo que dictó que usted quedara en ese lugar de oyente. Porque de lo contrario habría sido colocarlo en un curso nuevo que va, que va a iniciar en, dentro de unos 20 días, 21 días. ¿Verdad? Entonces iba a perder tiempo. Sí, Gabriel, diga. Eh, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Este, en caso de que, digamos... No tenga tiempo yo de, de estar así el pendiente de la... Por ejemplo, ya le había comentado ahí en el grupo de que no iba a conectarme exactamente a las 8. Uh -huh. Vaya, en ese caso, si yo no puedo conectarme exactamente a las 8, pero sí puedo entrar a la plataforma, este pero digamos por cuestiones laborales no puedo entrar, entonces sí puedo poner oyente, ¿verdad? No, no ponga nada, solo, solo ingreso, sí, solo ingreso. Okay. Hay una cuestión, este, la, como, les de, como les repetía, la decisión no es de ustedes ser oyente o no ser oyente. Si usted no va a participar, se queda calladito. Ahora, porque es, miren, les voy a decir así, no es cierto que alguien sea oyente cuando solo se conecta y está en otro lugar y no está oyendo o es oyente. Seamos honestos, si es oyente o no. Si yo le pregunto, o yo, no, no, yo, participó en la clase, no participó porque no oyó, entonces no es oyente, está conectado, ok, conectado, pero no es oyente, entonces en el, cuando decimos oyente, estamos refiriéndonos a que ya el cupo, el cupo ya está completo y hay dos más, ¿verdad? Pero si, si usted tiene inconvenientes, para conectarse a la hora, trate de acercarse lo más pronto posible. Y si se puede conectar a la plataforma a la hora, pero usted puede atender la clase unos minutos después, no importa. O sea, hágalo, ¿verdad? Pero lo importante aquí es aprender, ¿verdad? Para eso estamos aquí, para aprender. Y solamente si estamos conectados, oyendo y practicando, aprendemos. Si solo nos conectamos y nunca decimos pío, Nunca vamos a aprender a decir pío, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso, eso es lo que se, se les pide. Sí, Aníbal, dígame. En el caso cuando es una emergencia, ¿qué, ¿cómo se haría en ese caso? Ya vamos a hablar acerca de los permisos. Yo no tengo autorización de dar permisos, ¿verdad? Eh, Insafor no da permisos. Sin embargo, si usted tiene una emergencia, atienda su emergencia. Solo lo que se le pide es que, las bueno, uno nunca sabe cuándo surgen las emergencias, pero son emergencias, ¿verdad? Ah. Que emergen, o sea, salen de repente. Entonces, ah. eh, por esa razón, trate de estar cuando puede estar, esté. Porque surge una emergencia y no va a poder estar. 
y hay que cumplir el 80% de la asistencia, ¿verdad? Bien. En algún caso me duela, digamos un ejemplo, me duela la muela, me duela la cabeza. Conéctese y sencillamente en el chat ponga, tengo dolor de muela. O sea, no habla, pero sabemos que ahí está, ¿verdad? Okay. Thank you, teacher. ¿Sabe por qué es eso? Para que no se le afecte la asistencia. Okay. Porque, ¿Por qué razón es que se insiste en que se conecten, estén pendientes? Para que aprendan. Porque la idea de la institución, no solo de Insafor, sino de, de inglés corporativo, es que ustedes dominen el idioma, o sea, que lo aprendan. Esa es la idea. ¿Verdad? No solamente tomar un curso y pasó el curso y no aprendí nada, pero igual, ¿verdad? Fíjese no es... que, que yo en mi caso eh, me gusta, o sea, terminó el curso y ya, ya no sigo aprendiendo. Eh, la cosa es ir aprendiendo todo el día o sea, un pedacito de alguna cosa así es okay. gracias. gracias teacher no, 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 un placer um, en el caso de oyentes como dije, las dos personas que son oyentes pondrían oyente frente a su nombre toda, todo el tiempo los demás que no van a estar presentes pero se van a conectar Solo conectes y no pongan nada. ¿okay? Vale. La cámara encendida durante toda la sesión, si es posible, porque a veces fluctúa el internet, entonces pueden apagarlo, pero principalmente cuando se les toma asistencia, es importante que eh, enciendan la cámara, por lo menos en ese momento, para verles la carita, ¿verdad? Y, y saber que son ustedes. ¿okay? Aunque el teacher ni los conoce, ¿verdad? Pero bueno. Ese es uno de los requisitos. Queda en el, en el vídeo y el vídeo, pues, creo hay personas que los conocen. Ahora, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. A veces sucede que dejamos los micrófonos encendidos y tenemos familiares viendo televisión y eso no solo interfiere con la clase, sino que también sucede que Pasan canciones y las canciones tienen copyright. Y eso no me deja subir el video después porque me dice, me dice YouTube que tengo, eh, digamos, material con copyright y entonces no puedo subirlo. Por esa razón se les pide que minimicen el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Cuando decimos sonido ambiente, no nos referimos a lluvia ni pajaritos. No, nos referimos, nos referimos a las personas que están hablando acerca de cualquier cosa a la par suya. Que si se pueden apartar un momentito y lo dejen solito a usted para que pueda recibir la clase como se debe, sería muy bueno. O si están viendo televisión, tal vez usted se mueve a un lugar que esté lejos del televisor para que no se, no se interrumpa la clase con el sonido del televisor. Tal vez le pueden bajar un poquito, ¿verdad? Solo, solo durante la clase. Después le dan el volumen que necesita, pero para que no se interfiera con la clase, ¿verdad? Porque de lo contrario es muy feo que yo le esté cerrando el micrófono para que la clase no se vea afectada, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que se les pide, por favor. ¿verdad? No, es, no es con ganas de molestar, sino... Es para proteger el vídeo, para cuando se suba, si ese vídeo sea aceptado por YouTube. De lo contrario, dice, tiene material con copyright. Entonces me vetan el, el vídeo, no lo puedo subir. Y de ahí, lo, otra cosa que se nos pide aquí es la participación activa. ¿Verdad? O sea, que interactúen entre ustedes. Y como les dije, yo estoy aquí para apoyarles. Si tienen dudas, no me molesta ayudar con pronunciación, con gramática, con lo que sea necesario. Para eso estoy aquí. La asistencia se les pide que sea el 100% de las clases. Quiere decir que desde el minuto uno iniciamos a las 8 de la noche. Nos conectamos normalmente unos tres minutos antes de las 8. 
5, 3 minutos antes de las 8. Y desde las 8 le empieza a contar hasta las 10. De ahí hay personas que se van a quedar 10 minutos conmigo, por, o sea, un día estipulado. Ahora, la asistencia es el 100%, ¿verdad? La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. Eh, si ustedes llegaron un poquito tarde, no se preocupe, que está el bot. Hay un bot de Zoom que está tomando su tiempo. Desde que usted entró hasta que usted salió. ¿Cuántas veces entró? ¿Cuántas veces salió? Y la sumatoria de todos los minutos que usted estuvo dentro de la clase lamentablemente si usted se conectó dijo presente y luego se fue el bot le marca que estuvo presente en los dos minutos que dijo presente y después desapareció y luego, luego al final cuando se volvió a tomar la asistencia porque ahora la tomamos dos veces nada más entonces eh, al final usted dijo presente otra vez pero el bot solo dice ¿Cuánto tiempo estuvo presente la persona? Dos y dos minutos, cuatro minutos en toda la clase. Entonces, si los minutos se van sumando para darle un total mínimo de 80%, pero se les pide el 100%, ¿verdad? Entonces, por esa razón se les pide que estén en la clase completa. Por eso, como le decía a Gabriela, si no, si no puede iniciar la clase... Eh, digamos, atendiendo la clase del principio, pero que sí se conecte a la plataforma, porque allí el bot ve que se conectó y que no se salga. Cuando ya esté disponible, entonces que participe y que participe activamente. Ahora, la asistencia se toma en dos ocasiones, a las 8 y 5 para las 10. En realidad se toma a las 10 y se tomará como válida el escuchar al participante decir presente o presente y tener la cámara encendida, ¿verdad? Luego, después de la clase, a las 10, hay sesiones de uno a uno. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es esto? Que dado el día que le corresponde a usted, tiene 10 minutos para consultar a su maestro cosas que usted no entendió en alguna de las clases no necesariamente en esa clase en particular. Bueno, para el del primer día, pues mala suerte también, ¿verdad? Porque si eh, no entendió alguna clase del tercer o cuarto día, no sé, eh, solamente puede preguntar dentro de la clase, porque ya los 10 minutos ya los agotó, ¿verdad? Pero son, cada participante sería asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Los permisos no existen. Yo no tengo la autoridad de darles permiso. O sea, ustedes me pueden contar a mí y yo les agradezco mucho que me cuenten. Pero permiso, yo no tengo permiso. No tengo permiso de faltar yo. Y menos tengo permiso de otorgarle a alguien permiso. Entonces, les soy sincero, les soy honesto. No tengo permiso de dar permiso. Así es que si usted necesita permiso, tal vez lo puede escribir, eh, no sé, en el chat, en el chat de WhatsApp. Sin embargo, dudo pues que alguien le vaya a dar permiso porque Insafor no otorga permisos, ¿verdad? Entonces, se le pide que esté presente lo más que usted pueda, ¿verdad? Lo más. Si, como decía Aníbal, usted tiene dolor de muela, bueno, usted no me está preguntando nada a mí ahorita. Por supuesto, este es mi trabajo. Yo pude haber dicho, no voy a tomar el curso porque tengo quebrada el coxis, lo tengo quebrado, tuve un accidente y tengo quebradura de coxis. Entonces estoy sentado, pero no quisiera estar sentado, ¿verdad? Ahora, pero por profesionalismo estoy aquí y voy a dar una clase. Ahora, 
yo pude haber dicho, miren, no lo voy a dar, ¿verdad? Pero, les soy sincero, necesito el dinero, sí, pero también tengo que ser profesional y tengo que ser responsable. Entonces, por esa razón estoy aquí. Ahora, como ustedes dicen, si están enfermitos, conéctense. Yo entiendo que les duela su cabecita, que les duela algo. Pues no participen en la clase, pero escuchen. Eso no les va a molestar. No les va a causar dolor más del que ya tienen. Si no pueden participar, pero por lo menos estén conectados. ¿Ok? Pero que no sea oyente de aquellos que solo está, el, el, está conectado nada más la computadora Zoom y ustedes a saber dónde. Eso no es oyente. ¿Qué quiere decir oyente? Que ese es un ente que escucha. Y si usted se conecta y no está presente, ¿es un ente que escucha? No. Porque el ente, o sea, el ente activo de oír es oyente. Pero si usted no está presente, no puede oír. ¿Okay? Así que se les pide que sí, por favor, estén presentes. Ahora, las tareas y las evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Después de la clase, ustedes van y hacen la tarea. ¿verdad? Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar comple completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafort semanalmente. Y el viernes yo me tengo que quedar en la noche después de que he subido el video, que se tarda hora y media más o menos en, en convertirse y en subirse. O sea, me voy a dormir a la medianoche. Me tengo que quedar revisando que ustedes hayan completado la tarea para yo poder dejar el reporte completo para que ese reporte sea enviado a Insafort. ¿Okay? Por eso se les pide que, por favor, eh, antes de la medianoche de cada viernes, eso esté terminado. ¿Okay? Por favor. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, el midterm exam, es el viernes 29 de septiembre, antes de la medianoche. Viernes 29 es la mitad del curso, ¿verdad? Si lo pueden hacer antes del viernes, perfecto. Pero si lo quieren hacer el viernes, pues está bien, ¿verdad? Pero antes de la medianoche. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final, de final exam, es jueves 12 de octubre, ya que el 13 de, oct de octubre terminamos. Y para ese día queremos tener todo ya terminado antes de la medianoche. El manual, el manual del alumno puede ser descargado de la plataforma y aquí no utilizamos material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Todo lo que usted ve está basado en el manual y la inventiva de su teacher. Y yo les mando la clase de cada día tipo 5 de la tarde. 5 de la tarde se las mando para que ustedes tengan un par de horas para ojearla y estar listos para la clase. Ahora, ¿tengo la obligación de mandárselos? No, pero es mi deseo hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque creo en que ustedes merecen lo mejor y merecen aprender bien. Entonces, por eso estoy aquí para ayudarles con todo cariño para que ustedes aprendan. Ahora, la plataforma de Zoom. Tenemos el botón de silencio. El botón de silencio está a la par de su nombre, ¿verdad? O sea, usted le da clic. Si, si ve que tiene una rayita encima, está tachado, es que no está encendido el micrófono. Le da otra vez y ya lo enciende. La cámara, de igual forma. El chat es una, una cajita así como Speech Balloon que aparece ahí. Y usted puede mandar mensajes ahí. Breakout rooms solo están disponibles para el teacher. Solo el teacher puede abrirlos o cerrar. Y allí dentro de los, de, cuando usted esté dentro de los breakout rooms, le va a aparecer un botoncito que se llama Ask for Help. 
allí puedes solicitar ayuda. ¿Okay? Esa es la información que necesita para, la, para esto. Ahora vámonos a la clase. ¿Okay? Thank you very much for listening. Let's go. What's my name? What's my name? José Ángel Rodríguez. Bárbaro, ya se ganó un punto. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Very good. That's right. Okay. Very good. Um, I will be sending you information that I cannot present in the class because of the uh, YouTube and the different things, right? But I can send it to the WhatsApp group for you to have pronunciation, things that you might consider necessary and important. Okay, so let's go. <clears throat> Practice this dialogue with a partner. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Andres. How are you doing? Great. What are you doing? Having a snack. Have you eaten yet? Yes, I already have. What are you doing? No, what are you eating? It's banana balls. Do you like bananas? Yes, I do. I eat them three times a week. What other fruit do you eat? I eat oranges, pineapple, watermelon, melon and mangoes. Really? I prefer grapes, strawberries and cherries. I suppose you eat apples and pears too, of course. Do you like exotic fruits such as cocotes and nances? <laughs> yes, but I don't eat them very often. I never eat them. They are difficult to find through. I mean, at least for me, they are difficult to find. Okay, again, slowly. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Andres. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Great, great. What are you doing? Having a snack. Notice, how are you doing? Means, how are you? How are you? How are you doing? Great. What are you doing? What are you doing? Having a snack. Have you eaten yet? Yes, I already have. What are you eating? It's banana balls. Do you like bananas? Yes, I do. I eat them three times a week. What other fruit do you eat? What other fruit do you eat? I eat oranges. So you say, I eat oranges. Sorry, I eat oranges, pineapple, watermelon, melon, and mangoes. Really? Really? I prefer grapes, strawberries, and cherries. I suppose you eat apples and pears too. Of course. Of course. Do you like exotic fruit such as cocotes and nances? Yes, but I don't eat them very often. I never eat them. They are difficult to find through. Okay. Do you have questions about the dialogue? No questions? Me, teacher. Yes, please ask. Uh, what, is, what is the meaning? Pine, pineapple. Pineapple. Yes. You, you remember... SpongeBob. Apple, apple is in the end, but I, I don't yeah. know. Pineapples. Okay, let me see. Don't worry. I'm going to show you what a pineapple is. First, we see Goku. Hey, Goku. Goku's hair, right? Then we have a bowl. There are some lines something like this okay i can understand you understood now yes okay so this is a pineapple mm -hmm. okay teacher thank you you're welcome of course banana balls hey the banana balls you're eating banana balls <laughs> yes you <Eat> a banana <laughs> 
crunch it, not. Okay, crush it, crush it, and add honey, add honey. Put okay. them, put them in a, on a dish, put them in the microwave, leave them there for one minute, and then take it out, and that's it. Easy. Some people add, uh, besides honey, they add other things like uh, cinnamon, cinnamon, or, and they taste good. They're tasty. Okay. Any other question? All right. There are no more questions. We're going to practice the conversation. Hey, teacher. Okay, Sergio, ask me, please. Can you pronounce again, uh, do you like exotic fruit such? Ah, okay. Do you like exotic fruit such as cocotes and nances? Fruit, exotic fruit, such as, such, such as. as, such as, Cocotes such. and nances. Do you like exotic fruit such as cocotes and nances? Okay, Teacher, what is such as? You say such as when you will give an example. Okay, you say, do you like exotic fruit? For example, cocotes and nances? <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, you're welcome. Let's go to the groups. Let's go to the groups and... Uh, Let's practice the conversation with our partner. Okay, let's see. I'm going to make three groups. The groups are opening, please join. Good evening. Hi. Okay. It's a group. Oh. It's a group. Yes. The conversation and you start and my partner who is. <laughs> I can see the names. I am a start. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. No, but uh, your name? Sorry. Mira, Esmeralda. We are ah, no. uh, we are three. Uh, ah, okay. Aníbal, Mauricio, you and me. Ah, okay. Um, Blanca. And maybe yo también. Blanca. Ah, perdón. <laughs> I can see only three people. <laughs> Okay. Good evening. Uh, the conversation maybe change the names, the real name. Yes, yes? please. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Uh, and I start. I I am Edwin. In hi Esmeralda. Hi Edwin. How are you doing? Watermelon. Melon and mangoes? Really? I prefer grapes, strawberries, and cherries. I suppose you eat apples and birds too? I eat, I eat them three times a week. What other, other fruit do you eat? I eat orange, pineapple, watermelon, melon and mangoes. Really? I prefer grapes, some berry and cherries. I suppose you eat apples and pears too. Of course, 
Do you like such fruits such such as hocotes and nances? Yes, but I don't eat them very often. I never eat them. They are uh, difficult to find. True. Okay. Okay. Carlos, um, Carlos, um, okay. Okay. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Andres. How are you doing? Great. What are, what are you doing? Having a snack. Have you eaten yet? Yes, I already have. What are you eating? It's banana balls. Do you like bananas? Yes, I do. I eat them three times a week. What other fruit do you eat? I eat orange, pineapple, watermelon, melon, and mangoes. Really? I prefer grapes, strawberries, and cherries. I suppose you eat apple and pears too. Of course. Do you like exotic fruit uh, such as hocotes and nances? Yes, but I don't eat them very often. I never eat them. They are difficult to find. True. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Um, Mario Cristobal. Hello. Hello. And and and. and... Hello. Hey, Dan. Ah, okay. Mauricio. Aníbal y Mauricio. Falta. Okay. Hello, don Aníbal. Hectares. Hi, Jessica. Oh, hi, Andres. How are you doing? Great. What are you doing? Having a snack. Have you eaten yet? Yes, I agree. I'm ready. How? What are you eating? It's banana balls. Uh, do you like bananas? Yes, I do. I eat them three times a week. What other fruit do you eat? I eat orange, pineapple, watermelon, melon, and mangoes. Uh, re really? I prefer grapes, strawberry, and cherries. I suppose you eat apples and pears. Too. Uh, of course. Do you like exotic fish such as hocotes and nurses? Yes, but I don't eat them very often. Uh, I never eat them. Uh, they're difficult to find. True. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Prefer grapes, strawberries, and cherries. I suppose you eat apple and pears too? Of course. Do you like exotic fruits such as hocotes and nances? Yes, but I don't eat them very often. I never eat them. They're difficult to find. True. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, uh, okay, good job. Uh, Excellent. Very good. Now let's go over the pronunciation in the group. So we're going to go back to the main session. Okay. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Nine people are out. We are waiting for five, for six people. Three more people.
Okay. Here we go. Uh, some pronunciation. Pineapple. Pineapple. Pine apple. Pineapple. Pineapple. Strawberries. Strawberries. Straw berries. Strawberries. Apples. Ah, apples. 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 It has double P. So it's apples. 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 Then pears. E, e, pears. Pears. Pears are like this. These are pears. Pears. What are peers? Compañeros. Okay. Let's see, let me make it bigger. All right, peers. Look, peers. Peers, compañeros. So you don't need peers, I hope. <laughs> okay, you eat pears, right? Eh, pears. Pears. Then fruit. Fruit. Ooh. Fruit. Fruit. Find. 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 Words like this. Find. Find. Mind. Okay. And of course. Uh, well, it's going to give you a one that may confuse you because it has two pronunciations. So I'm going to just limit to these ones. Mind, find, kind. Okay. So that I don't confuse you with the other one. All right. Then doing, doing, doing. Transition is doing. What are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Okay, what are you doing? Uh, nothing much. Watching TV, sitting down and relaxing. Eating, in this case, eating. Okay, oh, and what are you eating? All right, so what are you eating? So often, often, often. The T is not pronounced. You can say often, like the British, but normally often, often, okay? Pronunciation is often, often. Then, of course, course, of course. Curse is maldición, curse. So, course of course the maldición mm, no right of course no of course okay so those are the the words now let's go to the next one we're going to be talking about nouns say the purpose is to identify the kinds of nouns you say teacher what's a noun the noun is the name of something. Name of something. For example, the general name. Uh, we have the Amazon. Amazon is the proper name, but it's a river. River. River is the noun, is the common noun. River. We have table, book, chair, bird, cat, dog. Those are nouns. And the nouns are classified in two according to number. Count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are the nouns that you can count. They exist individually, okay? They have a plural form. They exist in units, can be counted by themselves. They can be 
individual. They are individual. So examples of these ones are books, cars, dogs, trees, people, movies, cookies, photos, children, songs, women, men, actors, singers, shoes, buses, brothers, vegetables, okay? These are examples of count nouns. Usually count nouns, when they are in plural, they end in s, end in s, right? Books, cookies, actors, okay? In this. Then we have non count nouns. Non count nouns cannot be counted because they don't exist individually. They don't have a plural form. They don't exist in units. They cannot be counted by themselves. Like liquids, for example, when we talk about metals. Metals, liquids, uh, to say something, sports, uh, subjects, when you talk about school subjects, oops, what's that? I'm inventing, I have extra one. So subjects, I'm going to write here school because I don't want you to get confused. So, school subjects. Also, meat, fruit, time, money. Okay, these words are uncountable. Okay, if you say fruit, the word fruit. You can, you can count apples, you can count pears, pineapples, but the word, when you use the word fruit is, do you like fruit? Okay. Fruit can also be countable. You can say, do you want a fruit? Okay. But usually fruit is uncountable. Then time. Time can be countable when it means repetition, one, one time, two times, three times. So one time, two times, three times, that is repetition, but that is not one hour, two hours, etc. That time, lineal time, the time that is uh, measured by a clock, that is uncountable. We cannot count, okay? Yet we can say minutes, seconds, hours, etc. Okay. Time is not a constant. Time is subjective. It depends where we are. If we are in our planet, time is measured in one way. In space, time is different. Okay. So energy, they say speed and other things are rel relative. But those things are not count. So over here we're talking about count. Time, money, fruit, meat, uh, metals, liquid, sports, school subjects, etc. So over here we have some examples. Soda, coffee, milk, ice cream, cake. Over here we have soda, liquid, right? Coffee, liquid, milk, liquid, beer, wine. Those are liquids they are uncountable ice cream teacher but ice cream is not liquid no but it's uncountable okay cake pizza cheese cream light snow rain gold music food money food fruit jewelry all of these are uncountable. Okay, teacher, but I, you say like, you say that cake, pizza, 
bread are uncountable. Cheese, right? Now cheese is already there. So I'm going to eliminate cheese. Weather, weather is uncountable. Weather, cheese, gold, silver, steel, okay? Silver, no silver, silver, okay? Cake, pizza, bread, weather, gold, silver, steel, those are uncountable. Now, what, uh, teacher, what's the importance? What's the importance of this? Well, in general, you say books, when you make generalizations, books are important. You, but you say soda is not good for our health. Soda is not good for our health. Soda is delicious, yes, but soda is bad for our health, okay? So you say like that. Okay, let's see. Match the different features of a product with its definition. Size, weight, price, dimensions or dimensions. You may say dimensions or like British dimensions, battery life, storage, function, and warranty. Size, weight, price, dimensions, battery life, storage, function, and warranty. So let's do it together, okay? Let's do this together. So let me change the color. I'm going to just use a different color this time. Let me use, yes, Helvetica is, is okay. The color, let's use yellow. Okay. Okay, my dear, my dear students, here we have like size. Which is size? A, B, C, D, or H? F teacher. F? Letter letter F. Uh, try a different one. Um a different one? Don't be afraid. Making mistakes is normal, it's okay. You have permission to make 5,000 mistakes. Okay, so don't worry. Mm -hmm. Guess, you have permission to guess. Guessing is important. Letter A, teacher. A different one? Almost, let's say like. F teacher. Somebody said that already. A different one? There is one that you haven't said. Remember size like this, like that. Big, small, big or large, medium, and small. Large, medium, and small. Yes, Sergio? Letter D. Excellent, letter D. That's, that's the correct answer, letter D. Number one, very good. Now, my friends, we have weight. What is weight? Peso. Number two. Eh, tan chulo peso. No, you have to give the definition. 
Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Which is sorry. Don't worry. Which of these is wait? Letter F. F. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Letter F. Okay. Excellent. Price. What's the price? G. Letter G. Letter G. G. The amount of money required or pay for something. Correct. That's correct. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Now let's get to dimensions. Letty A A A B Letter A. Okay. A. Uh -huh. Yeah, letter A. Okay. Uh -huh. Excellent letter A. What about battery life? What's battery life? C. B. C. Letter C. Yeah. B. A measure of battery performance and longevity. Yes. Longevity. Longevity. Okay. Yes, correct. Now everything is down here. Oh, yeah, I closed it. Let me open it up a little bit. Okay. Now, let me do it again. I blew it, I <laughs> guess. Now, there it goes. Okay, fine. Let's see, what about storage? Letter E. Excellent. Letter E. Letter E. Perfect. Yeah, that's correct. The storage. Function. B. Function. H. 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 <laughs> yeah, function is H. Uh -huh. Is the practical use or purpose of something. Okay, and finally, warranty. B. <laughs> yeah, warranty is B. A promise to repair or replace something within a period of time. Yeah, warranty. Excellent. So, size, a thing's overall dimension or magnitude. Weight, a body's relative mass or the quantity contained by something, okay? You will tell me, teacher, gravity gravity times uh, mass. Yeah, probably, okay? The gravity that is on the mass, okay? So that, that is weight, yes. Price. The price, we said, that is the amount of money required or paid for something. <laughs> the dimensions, is the measurements or, or proportions of some kind. The battery life is a measure of battery performance and longevity. Storage. The storage is the space available for the retention of something. Function. A practical use or purpose in design. And warranty. A promise to repair or replace something within a period of time okay excellent good job very good do you have any questions what mean kind kind type kind equals type class or for example, uh, what kind of mango do you like to eat? Do you like to eat panades? Do you like to eat uh, ciruelita, manzanito, the, okay, the seda, or the azucarón? 
or mechu. <laughs> so what kind of mango do you like? Kind, right? Kind. What kind of food do you like? Do you like Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food? What kind of food do you like? Okay. All right, any other question? All right, then let's go, let's move on. Now, my dear ones, we have these questions that we need to discuss. You work for a company, you work for a company. Depending on the function of the company, what does your company buy? What does your company need to operate? Some people say, well, our company is a service company. We don't buy material. Ah, oh, but you buy paper, you buy pens, pencils, sharpeners, office supplies, right? Okay, you say, teacher, we make cakes. So we buy eggs, flour, we buy, I don't know. You tell me what your company buys. What does your company buy? Volunteers to tell me? You don't want to tell me about your company, okay? Let's do it simple. What does a company that sells cell phones buy. If a company sells cell phones, what does the company buy? Yes, my dear Angelitos, what do they buy? Yeah, Daniel. Yes, my company buy phone. phones, right? Phones. Yeah, if a company sells cell phones, the company buys cell phones because they don't make the cell phones. Buy them to sell, right? Okay. If I, I work for a bakery, bakery, you know what a bakery is? Uh, San Martin. Uh, what's the name of? Well, El Rosario. El Rosario. La mm -hmm. Tecleña. La Tecleña. Those Tecleña. are bakers. What do they buy? Uh, bread, coffee. Aha, uh, they sell. They sell bread, coffee. Aha, so what do they buy? To make cake. the bread, to make bread, what do they buy? What is the material for bread? They buy eggs, flour, flour, flour. eggs, flour. flour. What, else? what else? Sugar. Sugar. Uh huh. Sugar. They buy milk. Molasses. Milk. Yeah. Milk. Milk. Chocolate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Flavor, flavor. Chocolate, uh -huh. sugar. fruit, exactly, sugar, sugar. Uh -huh. eggs, eggs, eggs. eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they buy to make the bread, and then they sell bread, and they buy coffee to make coffee and sell. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, it's difficult to know how much how much flour they buy because we don't know the production, right? But we see, how often do you think they buy flour? Imagine El Rosario. Do you, how often do you think they buy flour and sugar, eggs and all of these things? How often? Weekly, um, weekly, maybe, maybe weekly, we can, we can. monthly or every day. Mm. Yeah, could be right yeah. because they sell a lot. Well, in the past, 
they sold more. Now, because bread is expensive and it's a luxury to buy bread. In the past, we were a little fat because we mm. ate a lot of bread. But now we say, how much is the bread? 75 cents. 75, um, 75 cents. No, thanks. Okay, No bread. I want to eat bread. No, 75, $1 for that. No. 125 no nah, thank you bye bye right it's expense it's expense so we say no with gasoline so expensive everything is expensive how do the people get the money to pay for gas increasing the prices increasing the price they increase the prices they pay for gas and we who pays for gas we pay for gas. Mm -hmm. uh, we pay for gas. So, okay. <clears throat> How much money do you think they spend? Say a Rosario, for example. How much money do you think they spend on flour every day? Ooh. One $1,000? $2,000? One thousand dollars. Maybe one thousand dollars, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> a lot of a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> no, in my house we, we make pupusas only for us. We buy one pound, one pound of flour. Wow. The pupusas are great. <laughs> yeah, they are great. Okay, let's see. Why do you think they invest their money on flour, eggs, and all of these things? Why? Why do they buy these things? Mm. To do business. To do business. To make more money. Right? You have to spend to make money. Right? You have to invest to get money. Okay? So why do they buy them? To make money. To make money. Okay. Let's continue, my dear ones. We have task preparation. Count nouns. Count nouns. We have examples here. What do we use with each. Okay, with uh, count nouns, okay, they have a plural form, they exist in units, can be counted by themselves. We use a few, fewer, some, many, a lot of, many, and how many. Hey, say, if I say, I have 12 children. 12 children. A few Those... or many? What do you think? A few or many children? Many, right? Many children. Many children. 12 children. Wow. One soccer team and a replacement. One soccer team and a replacement. <laughs> now, I have only one daughter, okay? I have only one daughter. I don't have 12 children. I am from Chalatenango, but I don't have 12 children, okay? So, no, my cousins do. My cousins have 12 children. <laughs> nah, too many. <laughs> many children. Okay, so, a few, a few. We pronounce it a few, fewer. <laughs> Fewer. Okay. What number we say is fewer? Three or two? Which is fewer? Fewer. Fewer. Two or three? Two. Two is fewer. Fewer is a smaller number. A smaller number. Fewer. Fewer is comparative. Comparative. We use like my brother has fewer 
children than my sister. My brother has fewer children. But you know, in my family, no. My brothers, I have two brothers, three sisters. All of my brothers have two children. Two children, two children, two children, two children, two children. I have the I have fewer children because I have only one, but all of them have two. All of them have two. Two children, two children, two children. So I have fewer children. Yeah, I have only one. So some, some indefinite number. How many, how many hokotes do you eat? Some, some, what, 20, 10, 15? Yeah. We don't know, some, okay? Some is indefinite. Indefinite. Any is in negative. In negative. I don't eat any. I don't eat any hokote. So zero. Zero hokotes. I don't eat any hokotes. In plural. Hokotes. I don't eat any hokotes. Plural. A lot of is similar to many. What's the difference between a lot of and many? that a lot of is used with the two, count nouns and non-count nouns. Many is used only with count nouns, and it big for big numbers. Many, many children, 12 children, wow, many children. Okay, how many, how many asks for the number? How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many, right? How many children? How many brothers and sisters do you have? So the examples here say, I love mangoes. How many pupusas do you want? I have six oranges and two bananas. I need a new, I need a few eggs for the cake. I eat fewer oranges than you do. She needs some apples and grapes. Are there any cookies left on the shelf? Yes. There are still a lot of cookies. I usually don't eat many apples. How many pupusas do you eat a month? How many pupusas do you eat a month? If you eat every weekend and you eat four pupusas every weekend, you eat 16 pupusas a month. Okay. So how many pupusas do you eat a month? I eat 12 a month, three, 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 okay? So probably you eat 16 or 20, okay, I don't know. <laughs> okay. How many pupusas do you eat? Me, teacher, I yes. eat eight. Eight pupusas um, a, a Friday month. Friday too. Oh, eight yeah. pupusas yeah. every Friday. Every Friday I eat Two pupusas. pupusas. Oh, I, Two thought pupusas. That, I thought that yes. every Friday you ate eight pupusas. Yes. No, okay. no, no. <laughs> every Friday eat I two. eat two pupusas. Yes. Two. So in a month, eight pupusas. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Very good. Other people, how many pupusas do you eat? Me teacher, I yes. eat uh, uh, 10 pupusas for month. 10 pupusas in a month. 10, yes. 10 pupusas. Three pupusas, two pupusas, three pupusas, two pupusas. Yes. A weekly. Uh -huh. A weekly. He eats three and then two and then three and then two. Or maybe when there is money, three. Three, and then there is no money, two and two. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's all right, excellent. Very good. Okay, so let's continue. Let me see how this goes. Let's say here, I'm going to illustrate, let me see if I can illustrate a little bit, but I'm going to change color because I think that over here is better if I use white. Okay, let me see. We have,
All right, so we say this is a few and fewer. Okay, so this is for this one and for this one. This is for some. And this one is for this one or this one. Okay, teacher, and any, no, any, we're going to put an X because any means no. I don't need any pupusas. Why not? Are you Salvadorian? <laughs> <laughs> we Salvadorians eat pupusas, right? So, okay, how many? No, because how many is a question. Okay, so. How many pupusas do you eat? So we don't have an answer. But this one is a few is a small number. Fewer is even smaller number. And some is an indefinite number, but it's bigger than small. A lot of and many are big numbers, okay? So let's see. We're going to complete here with a few or a lot of. A few or a lot of. This is depending on you. It depends on you. If you eat a few or if you eat a lot. Okay. If you buy a few or you buy a lot. So it's your decision. Okay. It's your decision. But if it says only, it's only a few. You cannot say only a lot. Only. What's the meaning of only? Angelitos, what's the meaning of only? Solo. Solamente, right? Mm -hmm. Only is just. Just. Okay? Just. Just a few. Okay? Just equals only. Only. Just is only. So, over here, if you see only, only a few. Okay? If you see the word only, it's a few, only a few. Okay, let's go to the groups and practice using completing this one. Okay. So, my dear ones, let's go and let's do it. Okay. The groups are opening, please join. Complete using only or a few. Okay. Mario, you are in group one. Edwin, Cecilia, you are in group two. And Adam, you are in group three. Okay. Carlos, you are in group two. Carlos Amilcar Campos, group two. Please join. Great. Um... A month. A few then. I usually eat few great a month. Few. A few. Few. Mm -hmm. I never buy a lot apples, only a few. Yes, a lot. Uh, a lot of my si my right. sister is a lot of hamburgers a month. <laughs> it's countable. Apples is countable. Mm -hmm. How many pie of bread? Do you eat a week? 
how many is of bread? Pieces. How uh, many pieces, pieces of bread? Pieces bread. of bread. How bread. many pieces of bread? bread. Is uncountable. Bread is uncountable. Bread. Yeah. Uh -huh. What you count are the pieces. Pieces of bread. How many pieces of bread do you eat? Do you buy? Yeah. Ten pieces? Eight pieces? Twenty pieces? You eat, so one dollar a piece. <laughs> <laughs> but one dollar, one piece. <laughs> or one dollar, two pieces. One dollar, two, two frijoles. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Life is expensive now. Life is expensive. Yeah. Betty, um. what Betty usualmente compra muchos libros, sí, muchos of, libros y revistas, muchos libros y revistas. A lot of books and magazines. Number four, teacher. Number four, pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, the thing is the bread is uncountable. So you say one piece or one roll of bread, one loaf of bread, loaf, one roll, one bun of bread. So you, you say, allow me to write here. So I'm going to write in your PDF. So you say bun, loaf, roll, or piece. Okay. When you ref you refer to sorry we say like that so roll is double L okay roll is double L bun loaf roll or piece roll I'm going to rewrite it here because no I mean. okay like this oops I mean. okay, there we go roll here is one L in the white spot roll piece loaf or bun. What's the difference? Let me see if I can draw. I guess I can. Let me see. I'm going to use this tool for drawing. The tool for drawing. And this one. Let me see. This is something like this. Okay, this is a loaf of bread. Okay, something like this would be something like a bun of bread. Something like this. No. Would be like a roll of bread. Okay, roll. And a piece. <clears throat> Something like this would be a piece of bread. Even though piece not necessarily cut. Okay. In general. Okay. Just to give an idea. Okay, so it's a few. Uh -huh. A few. How many a pieces few. of bread do you eat a, a week? I don't eat bread because I am diabetic. Talaveric teacher, no, diabetic. Okay. Talaveric, <laughs> not yet. I am in the process. I am in the process. Okay. So, but someone says that I'm too dulcito, and I say, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So diabetic. Mm -hmm. I cannot eat bread. I'm not supposed to eat bread. I don't eat, well, I don't eat bread. 
Okay. A few. Okay. In my case, I think a lot of piece of bread. <laughs> a lot of pieces of bread. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Nice. Chai, tímida. 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 Chai, chai, es tímida. She has only a few friends. A few, a few friends, yes. Yes. Okay. Good night. Okay. Hey, uh, he has things to do today. Leave him alone. He's he busy. Has... Leave him alone because he's busy. If he's busy, means that ooh, he has what? Hmm? He has. He has a lot of things to do today. Excellent. He has a lot of things to do today. A lot of, a lot of. A lot of things to do today. A lot of, a lot of, things, a lot of to things to do today. And today, we have to a lot. That's Mary a lot of has things. Choosing different colors. Mm -hmm. Mary has a lot of a lot, a lot of shoes. A lot of shoes in different a colors. A lot of shoes in different colors. Yes. A lot of shoes like in fifty, colors. like fifty pairs of shoes. I have word to say. I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm shy. Okay, thank you. A few. A few. A I few. A few words. A few to say. They, they play games. They are always playing. They are. They play. played. Play a lot of. A lot of games. Excellent. A lot of games. They are always playing, so they play always, a yes, lot of always. games. Always. They, they always play. Uh -huh. Okay. Fantastic. You finished. Wonderful. Thanks. Richard. Excellent. Very good. Thanks. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's go back to the main group. Let's go okay. to the main section. <laughs> good job. Okay, one thing, one thing that you should see. Why not a lot of? We use the preposition of when there is a noun. A lot of people, a lot of things, but only a lot. Okay, not a lot of because I don't say things. How many uh, pieces of bread do you buy? Mm, a lot. A lot. I don't say bread or I don't say pieces. I only say 
a lot. No off. Okay. Do you eat a lot of cookies? Okay. Betty usually buys a lot of books and magazines. I don't get a lot of messages on WhatsApp, only a few. Now I get a lot of messages on WhatsApp. She has only a few friends. She's very shy. She has, he has a lot of things to do today. Leave him alone. Mary has a lot of shoes in different colors. I don't buy a lot of shoes. I buy one pair for going out. Black shoes, one pair. Sneakers, one pair. And flip-flops. Sandals, no, but flip-flops. Flip-flops. Gina's Balco. Ah, no, Gina's Balco. So flip-flops, right? So you say flip-flops, flip-flop, 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 flip-flop. So flip-flops. Okay. Then I have a few words. A few words to say. I'm shy. And they play a lot of games. They're always playing. Play a lot of games. Okay, my dear ones, let's move on. We go to non-count nouns. Please non restart. Sure. sure, sure. Um, I'm going to send you the presentation after class. Thank you. I usually send the presentation with the answers. If we don't write on the presentation, I don't send it after class. But like in this case that we write, I send it for you to have the copy, the completed presentation, okay? So don't worry. Let me see, then non-count nouns. To ident the purpose is to identify the amount of something. We say non-count nouns with liquids, with um, flower type things like flower, like sand, sand, flour, sugar, salt. All of those are uncountable, right? The same, the same kind. Salt and sugar, sugar, pepper. Pepper, no green pepper, but the pepper that you put on the pizza, okay, pepper. And then we have sand, dust, okay, sand, dust, flour, flour. These are similar, similar substances like um, an Arabic species. You know, an, an Arabic spice, sorry, no species, spice. Paprika. Paprika, paprika, yes. Paprika. Mm -hmm. yeah. So salt, sugar, pepper, sand, dust, flour, okay? Same. Teacher, what is the meaning dust? Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. You remember? Dust in the wind. So dust on the floor. There is loose ground. You pick it up and you throw it. Dust. Um, when you play in a soccer field and there is no grass, there is no grass and it's uh, okay. dry, a okay. lot of dust. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yes, you're welcome. Some streets, country roads, country roads, take me home. Do you remember, right? So country roads, what? Are dusty. They have a lot of dust. Teacher, what is country roads? The roads that are not in the city. The roads that are not in the city are country roads. A lot of dust. The cars pass, and you are all white. You are white with dust, right? Dust. Does that answer your question? Now dust is clear? Senorita. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, we said that non-count nouns don't have plural form, don't exist in units, cannot be counted by themselves. So we don't say one salt, two salts, three salts, four salts. No, right? Because they don't exist like that. Okay. Same. We have what things we said that are uncountable? Liquids, metals, meat, natural elements. Natural elements like weather, lightning, rain, rain, okay? There is a lot of rain. Wind, there is a lot of wind. Light, there is a lot of light. Uh, lightning, lightning, there is a lot of lightning, okay? So, natural element. But then you have meat, chicken, pork, beef, uncountable, fish. But then we have uh, diseases. I'm sorry, diseases. Diseases. Oh, yeah, diseases, like that. Okay, diseases. Uh, school subjects. Teacher, what are school subjects? Mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, right? Those are school subjects. Then we have liquids. You remember I told you liquids like beer, wine, milk, uh, when you say chocolate, chocolate, coffee, tea, water, those are liquids. Then, what I say, say that were uncomfortable? Some things like time, money, jewelry. Okay, we don't have more space, but if we talk about furniture, Furniture too. And then you see here furniture. You say, teacher, what's furniture? Sofas, tables, tables, sofas, chairs. Those are all of those things are furniture. Furniture is uncountable. You count tables, you count sofas, you count closets, etc. So let's say with these ones, we use, what do we use? A little. And you remember, I was telling you that we have a small number. Let's change the color. White. No, nah. you didn't want it white like that. Without a filler, no fill color. No fill columns. Okay. So, Ah, we got it the same. It cheated on me. No field colors. Okay. Now, yes. And uh, some and a lot. Okay. So, my dear ones, what do we say? We say that this was 
a little this way. Okay, a little and we a little and this. But then some is here, some. And a lot is this. Okay, much is negative, not much. We can use only much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. But only much like that, no. So much is no, normally negative. I don't have much time. I don't have much money. In negative, yes. I don't have much money. I don't have much time. How much? Yes, this gosh. is a question. You remember, this doesn't give you a number. It's only a question. Question. And any, you remember that any means zero. I don't have any money. I don't have any time. So examples. I don't, I drink a little water. There is less light in our house than here. Less is comparative. Less is comparative. You see, there is less light in our house than here. So it means that here there is more light, right? So there is more, there is less light in our house than here. I don't have much time. Please hurry up. I don't have much time. I drink a little orange juice. I drink a little orange juice. Orange juice. You don't, this, you pronounce this and this. The ju eliminates the j. So you say orange juice. Orange juice. No, orange juice. Orange juice. Then I have less money than my brother. She just bought some ice cream. I don't drink any liquor. There is a lot of sugar in my coffee. I don't have much money here. How much water do you drink daily? Okay, how much water do you drink daily? So, a little less. Comparative is less. The comparative of little is less. Some, okay, so you say, let me see. Let me draw it, draw it here. Teacher, that is a glass. Let us imagine that is a glass. It has water. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this mouse doesn't, my mouse doesn't help me. Hey, which of the two glasses, number one or number two, has less water? One or two. Mm -hmm. Two. Number two. Two have less more water. Exactly. The opposite of less is more. Number one has more water. And number two has less water. This has more water. This has less water. We don't say less people, we say fewer people, fewer trees, okay? But we say less money, less time with uncountable, okay? Less money, right? Less water, etc. So let's do the exercise. Complete with a little or a lot of. Complete with a little or a lot of. Let's go to the groups. Teacher, we have a few minutes. Yes, we have a few minutes. Let's make them count. You can do it quick. So the groups are opening. Please join.
one, I usually drink a lot of water daily. Daily. Uh -huh. Daily. 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 I usually drink a lot of water daily. I never buy a lot of ice cream, only a little. A little. Goodbye. Never buy my sister eats my sister eats a lot a lot of cheese a week. Okay, excellent. Number four. How much soda how much soda do you drink a week? How much soda do you drink a week? Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of a lot of soda okay sí. a lot of a lot of three uh, my sister my is sister. Mi a little a little. Sí. a little poco queso mm -hmm. a little Number four. How much soda do you drink? How much soda do you drink a week? How much soda do you drink a week? A lot of. A lot. 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 A lot of. A lot. Uh -huh, without of only a lot. Uh, okay. okay. A lot. Uh -huh. A lot. Uh, only a lot. It's similar. In the anterior, right? similar to the one before. Yeah. Similar to the one before. To be one. Similar to the one before. The one before. Okay. Thank you. The one before. Do you eat a lot of bread? A lot of bread. Mm -hmm. Of bread, no, only a little. No, only a little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. usually buy... Number six, brother. Yeah, six. She usually buys Betty. Betty usually buy. A lot of so, sí, le puede borrar el lobo. Ajá, solo a lot. Ajá, exacto. Only las ahí, cabal. Ajá, cabal, las ahí. Lot. Do you eat a lot of bread? A lot of bread, oh, do you eat a lot of bread? Very usually buys fruit. Ice. Ice, you can say a lot, a little or a lot of fruit. Yes. Only two pieces. Yeah. Yes. I don't get help from friends, only a little. I don't get a lot of. A lot, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of. A lot of. I don't get a it lot has, of. A lot of help from friends. She has yeah. work today. She's very. Uh -huh. She has a lot of. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. She has homework to do today. Leave him alone. A, mm -hmm. a lot of work. A lot of homework. Yes, he has a lot of homework. He has a 
Mary has a lot of furniture. His ha her house is packed. It's full. Yeah, a little. Uh -huh. It's packed. Of... Está la casa. Mary a has a little. No, a lot of. A lot. A lot. Of. It's full. It has a lot of. Uh -huh. It's I drink. The house I is packed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. I drink milk. I don't like it. I don't like it. I drink a little Neither. bit. I drink a little Neither. I don't like it. I drink a little. And well, bye uh, bye. <laughs> Ahí se veían las dos. No, ahí es, they buy a lot of, a lot of food. Lot of they are always eat. eating. Siempre está comiendo, <laughs> compran uh, gastón. Yeah, they buy a lot of food, they always eat. Sí, si compro un poquito, no comes. Exactly. Uh, All right, excellent. Let's go to the main session. Good job. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you teacher. Yes. Okay, there are 12 people out, 13. Okay, let's go to the attendance. I'm going to complete this and I will send it to you completed, okay? We didn't get to the questions, but this is the topic, so it's enough. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Adán Antonio... Ramírez, Blanca del Carmen Santos. Presente. Excellent, nice. Carlos Amilcar Campos. Presente. Very good. Cecilia Maribel Alemán. Present. Excellent, nice. Daniel Enrique Sifontes. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Edgar Edelnilson Reyes. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Edwin Alexis Perez. Edwin Alfredo Alcón. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gabriela Yamilez Ramírez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Isela Guadalupe Martinez. Gladys Rubidia Nieto. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Jonathan Stanless Perez. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Jose Daniel Cermeño. Jose Ernesto Alemán. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Candy Natalia Sánchez. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario Ger Germán González. Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Present Mi teacher. Excellent. Miguel Ángel Cortés. Noé Gon Aníbal González. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Sergio Adolfo Hernández. Present. Excellent, very good. Okay, uh, welcome to the class. Thank you very much for participating. See you teacher. Uh, um, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, no sé si me mencionó Mario González estaba arreglando el audio porque se me yes. había Don't worry. Yeah, I mentioned it. two Marios, Mario Cristóbal and Mario Herman. Sí. Igual teacher. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias. Yes. Buenas noches. Igual teacher. Okay. Eh, sí, creo que me incorporé después allá a la sala principal. 
No, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Uh, we have today Adan stays with me. Adan Antonio Ramirez. The other people, okay, thank you very yes. much thank for you. attending. See you. Good day, chair. Thank you. Yeah, good night. Good chair. Good night. Where is the tomorrow? Good night. Good night. The homework. The homework night, is in everybody. the platform. Okay. Okay. In, okay. Into the platform, good the homework night. is there. Good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Hey, I usually drink a lot of water daily. You say a lot of or a little? Say first a little, then a lot. A lot of water daily. I never buy a lot of ice cream. My sister eats a, a little cheese or a lot of cheese, whatever, no? A little, depending on the sister, or a lot of. A lot of or a little. How much soda do you drink a week? You can say a lot. Or you can say a little. Do you eat a lot of bread? No, only a little. Do you eat a lot of bread? A lot of bread? And you say no, only a little. Betty usually buys a lot of fruit or a little fruit. Here it depends. A little, a lot of fruit. Push it a little bit here. Okay. Then I don't get a lot of help. I don't get a lot of help, only a little. She has a lot of work today. She's very busy. He has a lot of homework to do today. Leave him alone. Mary has a lot of furniture. Her house is packed. I drink a little milk. I don't like it. They buy a lot of food. They're always eating. They are always eating. With questions, how much is with uncountable? Teacher, but you say non-count, it's the same, non-count. Uncountable nouns or non-count nouns are the same. And how many are with count nouns or countable nouns, right? Count nouns or countable nouns. How much does the refrigerator weigh? How much does it cost? How much is it to extend the warranty? How much does it store? How many features does it have? How many colors is it in? How many functions does it have? How many products do you want? Complete with how many and how much. Complete with how many and how much. And with this, we finish. That's the last one. Okay. We say, how many pieces? 
How many pieces do I need to assemble this? Ooh, many pieces, a lot of pieces. How much? How much do these books cost? How much is the battery life now? What do you say, how much is the battery life of this computer? Would be more like how long, but okay. How much? I would say how long? Hours do I charge it? How many hours do I charge it? Money do you ha have? How much money do you have? How much money you have? Gallons of water does it need? How many? How many gallons of water does it need? Seven. How many books? How many books? Right, but the books is already there. How many books do you read a month? Or I used to read four books or five books a month. Now I only read one or half half a book a month, okay? Not so much. How many bananas? How many bananas do you eat a week? How much pizza? How much pizza do you eat a month? How much water? How much water do you drink daily? How much fruit? How much fruit do you eat weekly? And how much spaghetti? How much spaghetti do you eat a month? Okay, excellent. So, today we studied, the topic was count and non-count nouns. So we studied count nouns. Count nouns are the ones that can be counted. They exist individually and they can they ex, they have plural forms, singular and plural, right? One book, two books, three books, etc. Non-count nouns don't exist in plural form. They don't have a plural form. So they exist only in one form. Some people consider it singular. Personally, I don't consider it singular because we would have to use a. Ah. And with this one, we don't use a. Ah. You say, I like milk. No, I like a milk. Okay. But you can say, I like an apple. I like a pear because they are countable. But with non count nouns, you say, I like meat. I like milk. Okay. So that's the way we deal with them. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending tonight. Here we stop with the class. God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye.